Good morning, everyone. Sorry, my voice is hoarse. Good morning. Um, happy, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, February 27th. We are definitely heading into the end of February. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Um, as tomorrow is February 28th, which will be the final, final day of February. And also, tomorrow is World Rare, um, World Rare Disease Day, where it's a day set aside to recognize and you know honor um you know people that have different type um different types of um chronic illnesses you know of rare diseases and that you know definitely hits home for me with dealing with ms and then um we said you guys in the previous video of with the um part one and part two you know of with the um days of beating with the brand new neurologist of uh, that um the doctor didn't think that i no longer have MS that it could possibly be some something else. Um that is 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 I would say is worrisome but then it's not worrisome and the reason that let me explain that is because that's not my first time hearing that the doctor that I've been so aggravated and perturbed about trying to move away on from him, um he told me that back probably like maybe three years ago and um he was the one to officially diagnose me with MS back in 2017, but he wasn't sure at first because he was battling in between MS and TM, um, transverse myelitis. And I was explaining in the video before that the new neurologist, she had me do a lot of blood work because with my old neurologist, um, he had me check, you know, back in 2016 for like lupus, Lou Gehrig's, um, you know, ALS, that's the same thing, and, you know, MG, lupus. All those other things that can mimic with the lesions, you know, um, neurologic, um, demyelinating um, disorders, especially diagnosed me with. Um, but he hadn't checked back on that since 2016, so she wanted to recheck and see if, you know, those other things could have been markers um, that I could possibly have. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, you always want to know, like my parents always taught me, you always want to know what's going on so you'll be able to fight and that you'll be able to. Um, you know, get the aggressive treatment that you want to know about that you can save yourself, you know, early detection, you know, save lives. And I went to go and see if um, my mom and dad was calling me. So, like I said, right now it's after 7 o'clock. Uh, I have been up since um, probably since around 6 o'clock. No, I around, around around 5. I really didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to. It just feeling like I had a lot of cold symptoms, which is the reason why my voice it sounds very hoarse. Um, so getting ready to wash the little dishes. Um, the water is set for that, but I might have my nephew to do it because, like I said, I'm trying to and really have really great sleep, like I really wanted to. Just feeling kind of just off and on and groggy, and just my body felt depleted. I had like a 99.5 low grade fever, and you guys that know me, I'm always running low grade fevers all the time. No, I didn't go to the ER. I didn't go to urgent care. I just took the over the counter things at home and just dealt with it. But I could feel my body just feeling really like it was just going down. And so I rested. Um, you know, I did take a nap and rested while Jasmine was here yesterday. And then I sat down and watched TV with my mom. And then I went to bed early and slept. Um, and then I didn't eat again tomorrow after 8 o'clock last night. And then I tried to sleep, but I just kept getting up throughout the night because my body just was you know, not cooperated. But my nephew is outside. We're going to get ready to go to Walmart. Not right now. We're going to go in a little while. So I might just take me a little nap because he's outside washing the van. So um, he's outside doing that right now. If you guys can see him, he's over there. He already washed it, but he's rinsing it off. So um, he might be behind on the other side. You probably can't see him the best. But he's over there washing the van right now. So how are you guys doing? How have you guys been? Hopefully you guys have had a great week, a great ending to your week, a great start to your weekend, um, a great middle to your weekend. And, um, that you guys are doing great, that you guys are doing awesome. We are always, you know, praying for you guys, you know, health, your mindset, your strength, um, you know, praying just for your life in general. And we're not just saying that, just a just caution to the air. That is what we firmly 
you know, believe. You know, we appreciate every single one of our subscribers. And there's so many things going on in the world, you know, no matter how much we interact or don't interact, you know, we all are one together. So as I always, always say, um, keep your eyes open, look up. If you didn't have a good day, if you didn't have a good night, didn't have a good morning, keep your eyes open, keep your head up and look up because there's a bigger, brighter, better day on the horizon just for you. And know that you are well deserving of every good and great thing coming your way. Alrighty? So it's just the celebration of life. Just coming this far and surviving everything that I've went through in these past four long wild years dealing with um crazy world of chronic illness. Whether this MS or not, it's been a, a roller coaster of disaster, raging emotions, um, meeting awesome people, meeting nuts. <laughs> um, it's it's been a lot and um just to be here in 2021 and heading into March um, is a blessing. So every day that I'm above ground, I'm like, thank you, God. And I am really blessed and happy to um, recognize that and honor that. So um, when he takes me to the store, um, you know, ever takes me to the store during the week uh, at times as well. You know, it's just a beautiful blessing where our families can just come together and really, and I mean really, support one another, um, help each other out abundantly. And I really am grateful and I thank God for my parents. I thank God for having an amazing husband that sacrifices so much. And those times where I'm just down, you know, in the dumps, you know, he's always encouraging me. We are a phenomenal support for one another, which is amazing. Um, and I was just thinking God for him, how he just, you know, so many things of dealing with the appointments and just everything that quiet doing his brains on um, the ugly side. Um, he's, he's right there. I think he's right there. And, you know, even with his job where there's been moments of intensement, um, I've been threatened to be fired and my dad went through the same thing. Um. You know, so I thank God for transportation and then finally being able with last year, being able to get home health. And when I say everything has worked out so amazing with Jasmine, I am so happy with her. The only downside is, just, you know, having her is not someone I have to complain or feel stressed about. But just not being able to have her online, that's just the only downfall and, um, you know, disgusting frustration. Happy, happy Sunday, you guys. Alrighty. Today is Sunday. And look, you guys, this is a very, very beautiful day outside. So let me show you guys that before we get started. It's lovely. I think it's lovely. Um, so today is World Rare Disease Day. Um, so it's a day that, you know, for many, millions of individuals around the world that have all types of, you know, different rare diseases. Um, some things that people know about, other things that are unknown. Um, some people have multiple chronic illnesses, such as I do. Um, especially, you go through so many different doctors and say you find one that's suitable for you and your condition or multiple conditions. Sometimes doctors are so overwhelmed and bewildered, you know, we're finding a lot of information of things that they don't even know. And that's that's why it's the great thing for us individuals that deal with illnesses to know our bodies, the symptoms, all the factors about it, but we can teach them because a lot of times they don't know. And that's not to put down that is things that we realize as chronic illness individuals that they don't always know everything. And they're going to go read a book and, you know, type it in the computer and some things they don't know. They're guessing at it. So that's why it's awesome to know our bodies, our limitations, strength, weaknesses, everything. So as we're educated and know, we can help others and, you know, everybody, everybody benefits from it. So, okie dokie on that. So, you know, we finished um, family church. So I cooked on yesterday. Now, in the video on yesterday, I did not finish completing the video. Um, we did end up going to Walmart. Now, my nephew brought me in, if you guys that are wondering. But before we get to that, how you guys doing? How you guys been? Hopefully, you had a great Saturday, as today is Sunday. Great. You guys are all doing well. 
that you're holding strong, that you're holding, you know, on to your, you know, your strength and that you are focused and that you keep going and know that you are, you know, a survivor and you're a bad butt and you can deal and conquer and survive any and everything that comes your way. So if you didn't have a great weekend, a great almost ending to your weekend, as I always, always say, keep your eyes open, keep your head up and look up because there's a bigger brighter better than on the horizon just for you and know that you are worthy to do every good and great thing coming your way all righty so yeah you guys down here in the wallets um it feels like spring is definitely in the air i was able to wear my sandals today is very nice weather like it's in the 80s so it definitely feels like okay springtime summertime weather's coming up you know the wind is blowing it's not cold so i feel like okay i can finally put my winter clothes up but in New Orleans, it's that tripolar weather. You know, you can have all the seasons in one day. You know, or it's quadpolar, you know, four, where you have all four seasons in one day. So I have, like, my rear clothes sitting now because I have a lot of appointments coming up this week. But, yeah, back to what I was saying, though. So on yesterday, I did not complete the video because, you guys, I was just depleted and exhausted. And that's how it is with chronic illness. You can be tired throughout the day, and you can feel... You know, not as bad where you can, um, you know, get some things accomplished. But I know my limitations on my body. It's like, okay, you can put, you know, it's like when you have your car, your vehicle, whatever, and the check engine light come on. You know, you know automatically to get a check, you know, as it should. But sometimes when we're just going about life, we become too busy or we neglect things. Um, you're going to get a reminder. You know, your vehicle's going to let you know, okay, hey, get me fixed. And that's how our bodies are. You know, if we're, you know, we can be so exhausted. And if we, like me, sometimes, I say before I became ill, and I still am like that a little bit, but I'm more over listening to my body. And I'm the type of person, you know, if I'm tired, uh, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. And it um, so, like yesterday, my nephew, he brought, uh, um, brought me to Walmart. And I really appreciate him just being such... You know, he's such a nuisance at times, but he's really, um, you know, he's, he's going to, man, you guys, he's going to be 18 in two weeks, you know, on the night. And I really just appreciate, you know, his, um, you know, just his love, you know, of bringing and brought his girlfriend along. So he has a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Um, and they've been together about maybe going on two months now. Um, so it's still a very fresh new relationship. Um. And I mean, and that surprised me to the point of saying where I knew she was coming and you know something like that. But he had left to go and put gas in the van, and um, when I came out the room and everything, you know, see, so opened the door and then you know she walked in and we were all surprised. Like you know, you didn't tell us she was going to go and get her, and he was like, oh well, you know, she wanted, so she wanted to come over and you know and go to the store. So I'm like, okay, well. She could come. Um, so I didn't directly take a picture of her face. I took a picture of him driving. I sat in the back and I let her sit in the front um, in, in, the, in that passenger seat. So I will insert that picture. But um, like I said, you won't see her face. I don't want to do that to her. I just took a picture of the back of the head. So I made some tacos. So I had like some taco meat. Uh, okay, so we have the tacos right there. So we have guacamole. And this one haven't been open yet, but everyone's been using this one here. Um, so I brought some more yesterday and I added, put in the tacos. Um, we have rice, have some vegetables. So this is Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and broccoli. Um, also have some salmon. Salmon is the only fish that I eat. It is good for all immune disease, very healthy. Um, so this is the salmon here. That's that there. And then I also have the turkey meat. So when I do the ground meat, I don't do the beef. I do the turkey. Um, my nephew, he always complains that he wants the ground meat. So I'm saying, okay. So we also have some bread rolls here. Um, dinner rolls. We also have that. And I also made some, what is this? It is um, Mexican broth. So whatever they want to do with it. They can't, I made a big pot of it, so that's going to last, I'll say, let's say until today is Sunday. So, a long time in our family depends on 
you know, when everybody's hunger strikes, you know, kicks in, it can last probably until I say maybe Wednesday. I don't want to pick up the pot because it's way too heavy. Because my dad put it in there yesterday. So it's that. So it's a Mexican bra. Some things on Pinterest. Everybody have their own ideas on how they want to make it. I didn't put any meat in it because, you know, we have the tacos and I just did more like a, you know, a veggie kind. And I also have mushrooms I put in that as well. So, bon appetit, delicioso. <laughs> and so, um, you know, whatever they want to do is there. And it's easy to eat. And um, ever that's up his alley and he's completely happy. <laughs> but I'm also, you guys, am going to make some baby lima beans. I love beans. Um, comment down below if you guys are into beans and what your favorite beans are. Now, these are baby lima beans. Easy. You know, it's not anything that I'm proud of to say that I have a disease, but I'm happy choosing to be joyful to say I can represent, you know, survival. Being alive, being here, saying that I made it through, when I thought so many times that I would die, that I wouldn't make it. That um, how many times I've been in the hospital? I mean, even especially last year, being asked, you know, hey, well, did you make a will? That's not anything you want to hear. I mean, and I had already started things about that. Um, but it's not anything you want to just brought up at any time of your life. But having a chronic illness and being in the hospital is an even more horrible feeling. Um,